Gumball just bounced out the window. So, could it have killed somebody? How can a ping pong ball kill anybody? The ping pong ball fell twelve stories down. It's okay. The ping pong ball is so light. But you say mass does not matter. Everything free falls at the same rate. Regardless of mass, everything free falls at a constant rate of g equals to nine point eight one meter per second square. However, a ping pong ball usually does not get to free fall. The effect of air resistance sets in quickly, and sets a maximum speed at which the ping pong ball can attain. This is called the terminal velocity. The phenomenon of terminal velocity arises because of this interesting property of air resistance. The faster an object pushes its way through air, the larger the air resistance it encounters. So during a vertical fall, it's a battle between two forces: the downward weight, which is constant, and the upward air resistance, which keeps increasing as the object speeds up. So during the fall, as the object speeds up, the net downward force becomes smaller and smaller. And the acceleration also becomes smaller and smaller. Terminal velocity is attained when the object reaches a speed at which air resistance matches the weight. At this point, the net force acting on the object is zero. The object does not accelerate anymore, but continues falling at constant speed. Let's compare dropping a lead ball and a styrofoam ball of the same dimension. Because they have the same dimension and shape, they experience the same air resistance for the same speed they are falling. But because the lead ball has a larger weight, it can accelerate to a higher speed before the upward air resistance matches its downward weight. The styrofoam ball, on the other hand, only gets to accelerate to a lower speed before the upward air resistance matches its downward weight. Hence, all things equal. A heavier object attains a higher terminal velocity than a lighter object. Let's now compare two lumps of plasticine of the same mass. One is molded into a solid ball, and the other into a hollow ball. This time round, both objects have the same downward weight, but the hollow ball, being less compact and less streamlined, experiences a larger air resistance for the same speed of falling. Compared to the solid ball, this means it can only accelerate to a low speed before the upward air resistance matches its downward weight. The solid ball, on the other hand, being more streamlined, gets to accelerate to a higher speed before the upward air resistance matches its downward weight. Hence, all things equal, a more streamlined object attains a higher terminal velocity than a less streamlined one. Oh, it's like playing catching, right? The ping pong ball tries to run faster and faster, but when air resistance catches up with weight, then it is not allowed to increase its speed further. Hmm, sounds good to me. So it's okay to draw a ping pong ball from twelve story. Yep. How about durian? If durian should die, drop from first story also die. <laughs>